Hey guys, Milk Cookies and Games here. Welcome to another episode of our Gates of Hell Gem Editor tutorial series. Uh, in this episode, we're going to look at uh, allied reinforcements when the enemy enter a zone. Um, so I've set it all up. I'm going to show you a demonstration of what it looks like. Uh, and then I'll just go through the process um, of doing it. So let's uh, begin the demo. Oh, sorry, I'm going to move the uh, Germans into the area. Come back over here. You can see that we've got some text, and then you can see that the reinforcements spawn in. And then off they go to reinforce the airborne soldiers up here. Right, so that's the demo. Now we'll just go through step by step um, the process. The first things first, obviously you're gonna need reinforcements, troops. So I've got some troops set up here. Um, the infantry have different infantry tags. So we've got squad one and squad two. The vehicles have their own tags as well as truck two. And that's truck one. Um, I just realized I've switched, the, these tags have been switched around in the triggers command, but that's okay, we'll fix that up. Mm. All right, so next you're gonna need waypoints. So I've just given the waypoints and the inventory and the vehicles. That's pretty much it for that. Then you're gonna need a zone. So. We click on that, it'll take us where it is. So US reinforcement zone is what I call it. Um, and this is the zone. So when the Germans enter the zone, it'll then trigger the commands for the reinforcements. So we come to the triggers tab and we go to the appropriate ones. We'll do the infantry first. And here they are. All right, so first thing you're gonna need a near condition. And if we come here, double click on the units tab. All I've done is set it to the enemy player team. So in this case, they are player two. And then the state, not dead. All right, we don't want it to recognize dead enemy soldiers, just alive ones. Next is the near two, which is the zone. So I've given it the zone. So US underscore reinforce zone. And that is it for that command. Next, I've done a delay of five. And before we continue, here is our soldier that will talk. So I've just given him a tag of US talk um, zero one. And that's it. And then a hidden tag that way he's hidden. If we come back here, we can see we've got the talk. So the selector is the, the tag for the uh, soldier that's talking. And then the text, we've got the text. So I'm just pretty, pretty easy that stuff. We've um, gone over that in previous video. Then I added a delay of two. And then we've got actor waypoint. And this is for squad one. So I've given it the tag of squad one. Waypoint, which is waypoint zero. We tick the box for clone and safe teleport and rotate. Then we've got active state. 
uh, you can set these to however you want them to be. We've got US reinforced squad one, so infantry squad one here. And these are the settings I've got them on. All right. Um, again, you can set it up to however you want it to be. Then we have the second squad. So same process, except we've changed the tags to the second squad. And the waypoint. So obviously they'll be spawning on waypoint two um, and pushing forward to their position. Again, the active state, the exact same, except the tag is different. Sweet, that's the infantry done. Now, if we go over to the vehicles, again, it's the same process. So I'm going to show you one, and that's it. Um, the only thing I will do is change the waypoint. So that's truck one, which is that one, should be waypoint seven. And truck two should be waypoint four, because that's truck two on our left there. Awesome. So I'll show you one of the vehicles because it's the same process. Um, you can set it up exactly how we did the infantry and have both vehicles in there, um, but I'll just set it up um, like this just to see that you can do it this way as well. So you get another near condition and it's the same process. Um, we want the enemy player and state is not dead. And then the near two will be the zone, obviously, that the enemy soldiers will enter. A delay of eight. Uh, reason for that is because we don't have the uh, soldier talking anymore. We only need him to talk once. We added it in the infantry uh, trigger. So I've deleted that and sort of just made up with a difference. Um, so the infantry is delay five and then two, which is six. Um, but I want the vehicles to spawn in uh, a little bit later as well. So I made it uh, of a delay eight. And then active waypoint, and we've got the truck one uh, tag, vehicle one, which is on our right here. The vehicle's waypoint, clone, and then safe teleport and rotate. The active state, again, you can set this up to however you like, um, but we've got the truck, the vehicle tab, tag, sorry, uh, and then we have the settings here. And it's the same setup as uh, for the second vehicle as is for the first. So it's all the same. Um, and that's pretty much it. That is how you create uh, reinforcements when soldiers, either enemy or friendly soldiers enter a zone. Um, so lots of good uses uh, for this um, when you're making missions. Um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys, different structure. Um, let me know what you guys think of it. Do you prefer this kind of structure where it's already set up and I just go through the, the uh, commands or would you rather me actually do the commands as I do previously where I place them down and we go through it, you know, when you go add, we find the commands. Do you prefer that method or do you prefer this method or do you prefer both? Um, so this method tends to make the videos a little bit quicker because everything's set up. I just go through it and you just follow step by step. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think uh, and we'll go from there. Maybe I can do a mix. One video, this method, one video, another method and so on. Apart from that, guys, that is it for this uh, tutorial, and hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Comment if you have any issues. Um, subscribe and uh, share the video if you would like. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.